All right, welcome back to the channel. Warhammer Man back in the studio, and today we're taking a look at the new Games Workshop reveal slash previews. Uh, I've got a little bit of Kill Team, some Orcs, and some uh, Krieg. Uh, we've got also some uh, 40k just regular uh, orcs with like the squig rider kind of that have already been previewed before and then uh, quite a bit into like the actual kill team box set itself so uh, let's check out a little bit of what's going on here so this is the new kill team box set uh, it's going to replace the old kill team box set like starter set uh, obviously is loaded up with terrain we have our first set of like full table xenos terrain uh, they've said that it is in fact going to be the 22 inch by uh, 30 inch board uh, foldable game set there's a complete new rule book uh, obviously new tactic cards and everything include some dice some counters uh, there's like some mission strategy books inside the starter set as well you get two kill teams it's uh, 12 total orcs and 10 uh, krieg boys uh, imperial guard and then it's like uh you know all the terrain you see pictured here so let's take a little deeper of a dive right here so just kind of checking out the actual models. Here's the uh, Krieg models here. Uh, so we have like one dude down here uh, with basically like a, like a dynamite TNT thing. We have a sergeant with plasma pistol and power sword. Uh, next we have um, some sort of like a medical kit right here. I'm assuming this guy's our medic. He's got like the little uh, apothecary style thing. And then he's filling up like an injector. Uh, essentially like revive somebody or maybe heal them or something like that uh, very cool very thematic model um, death course obviously like very cool already but just to add in that extra character is sweet uh, and then here we have more of a standard guy uh, with just a uh, little las gun and obviously he's got his little uh, knife on the front which is cool and then here we have uh, you know what appears to be basically like a power fist uh, deal going on here again plasma pistol these guys are all veterans but this guy appears to be like extra decorated uh, so I think that honestly it's cool because it basically seems like they're they're adding in options I'm not sure if these are gonna be multi-part kits or just one way you can build them but they're adding in like clear options to make these guys actual like kill team specialists which is very very cool uh, here this looks like the comms guy he's basically got like a map and everything a uh, little communication device so you know obviously I uh, got a little something going on. He's got his uh, little ass gun on the back and then a little pistol in hand. Uh, these models are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and I know people have been waiting forever for these because the Forge World models are awesome. But there's nothing better than just regular Games Workshop plastic kits. Which I'm sure eventually these will be available in a plastic kit. I don't know. I'm assuming it will be a multi-part plastic kit. I'm not sure if these are going to be multi-part plastic or not. Um, or if they're just going to be like standard build or maybe just a couple options. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this guy here. Uh, he has like a Rosarius and a little like notepad type deal. So maybe he's like, um, man, I'm not even sure honestly to, to speculate on that one. I'm not sure what he would be. Maybe a scout or something like that. He appears to have maybe, yeah, I don't know. That's a tough one. Here we got another standard, just Krieger right there. You'll notice that none of these other guys have the uh, little stabby sticks on the front though most of them just had the standard weapon I uh, hear he's got the grenade so maybe that's gonna be our um oh man I can't think of what he's called I wanted to say grenadier but I know that's not right the guy got like plus one to the injury roll before demolitions he's probably gonna be like the demolitions guy right there again still has like the last gun so there's definitely some very cool options here uh, I'm not sure again if this is gonna be a multi-part kit or if it's just straight up standard though uh, let's see what it says here all plastic kill team octarius da, 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 da. yeah it doesn't really say much on there so and then let's check out the orcs so the orcs you're gonna get 12 models it's uh one knob nine orcs uh they're all commandos and then you have one little grot and one little squig as well so uh here is obviously the uh boss with a power claw very cool um awesome awesome model i love it 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 totally reminds me of like the old forge world set and then we obviously have our little grot right here uh he is clearly like a little ninja dude with a grappling hook uh i mean that's absolutely amazing orcs have been so overdue for some models this is great uh the squig he's a bomb squig obviously again absolutely amazing this thing is awesome uh he looks straight up savage doesn't look like cartoony like the old style squigs does this dude looks like he would tear your face off uh but he doesn't have to because he's loaded up with explosives a uh, couple knives on this guy plenty of grenades and everything maybe some smoke bombs or something as well uh, very cool orc there 
and then we have the awesome awesome head like gas mask here a uh, little bit of like chopper deal and pistol uh, this one has a little bit more of like a repeating like rifle got the cool little beanie on um, very cool like reminiscent of like navy seal type deal uh, and then we have i'm not sure what this is looks to me sort of like a blunderbuss um you know that's obviously not a weapon from orcs previously but it definitely looks like a blunderbuss like it would just shoot a pile of like scrap metal or something like that but you know what the more i look at it actually it looks like it could be a breacher like for doors to bust open a door or something like that so this may actually be instead of like what i initially thought it being a gun it looks more like it's a giant piston with like a breacher on the front like you run up to a door or a person and then activate it and the piston like shoots out and then retracts like to basically bust through something so um very very cool again axe over here pistol everybody's loaded up the weapons themselves are absolutely phenomenal the models the heads uh everything is top notch top notch uh here we got a rocket boy right here uh very cool it's not a combi rocket though it's just a regular rocket launcher uh so that is obviously very cool and then not totally sure what's going on with this looks like some sort of like maybe like zap gun type deal uh kind of looks like a crazy little pistol does not appear to use regular ammunition even though he's carrying some right here it appears to have like a power pack on the back right here so i don't know what that's going to be some sort of like little close range like laser type deal or something like that a uh, little mini zap gun type deal uh very very cool these models are absolutely phenomenal each one is just loaded with character uh here we got the burner obviously uh, awesome and then this has got to be our sniper right here so very very cool absolutely top-notch models uh, they have killed it with these sets so uh, very very happy with this you know one thing i did notice though now after looking at it is in the preview video uh the krieg versus the orcs they actually show a sniper for Krieg, and there was not one shown, I don't believe, in the models up here. Uh, I would imagine that it would have like a pretty fancy scope on the gun. So I am assuming that there will be other options available because I don't think that they would put a sniper in that video and then not give you an option for one from the actual model. So, uh, but let's keep going through this and uh, we can take a look back in. Uh, so obviously this is our first Xenos terrain set. They have said for sure it's a 22 by 30 inch board. Uh, foldable game board will be included. All your rule books, your dice, everything you need to play, the counters. And then this is a boatload of terrain. I mean, this is absolutely great. Four main buildings, one smaller little one here, and then a ton of like medium sized or whatever scatter terrain, and then a bunch of just like little bits of scatter terrain and bunkers as well. So they have done absolutely phenomenal with this set. Uh, I would give this honestly like a 10 out of 10. I don't think this could be any better. Uh, there's walkways to connect the different sets. There's like a couple little standalone posts that guys can go up to. Uh, again, you have like the four large pieces, one like medium large piece here. A bunch of little accessories and then as far as the actual scatter terrain you have like one little piece here one here so like four main pieces of scatter terrain roughly equal in size and then you have a couple of smaller ones two little like post things here and then like six of uh, these little guys as well so um, I mean absolutely phenomenal terrain set you cannot beat this right here and then obviously it has our measuring tools uh, combat gauges dice the tactical cards the manual the core book uh, all of our bros 10 and 12 so 22 total models uh, this appears to be equal to the old kill team box starter set with the uh, sector mechanicus and that one was a little bit lacking you could even argue that this is better than the original kill team set or that mechanicus set uh, based on how many models come in it and how much terrain so absolutely crushed it um, let's see if we can find that video really quick and then we will uh, keep going through here I believe this is the preview video. So I did not notice any specific like variants that stood out to me there. 
So it looks to me like uh, everything is just a single build. Again, just kind of checking it out. So, uh, but yeah, let's keep scrolling down here and then we'll take a look at the next reveal set. All right, so this is the uh, War Erupts in Octarius. This is for Warhammer 40K, but does mention Kill Team in here, so maybe they'll all tie in together. The intelligence report has arrived. Finally. Put it on the screen. All right, so this is a uh, new set for Warhammer 40K. Uh, it's a book that's coming out, uh, Warzone Octarius. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the rules are from it. Just what I have heard so far though, I was talking about it's basically like a Tyranid type campaign, uh, but it will specifically have rules for Sisters of Battle, uh, Tyranids, and Chaos. Uh, appears to be basically like uh, what they did with the last edition, uh, essentially just having like special relics and rules and whatnot. Uh, and then on to our final preview and this one has already been like shown before but this is more of an in-depth one this is the new orcs and it will feature a new limited style box set like the sisters of battle did when they came out All right, so we've seen a couple of these models already. Uh, absolutely, once again, killing it. These models are phenomenal. So this is a new uh, vehicle, basically, uh, like transport deal. You've got a giant squig type creature here, a uh, big old gun on it, and then uh, like little command center up here, bunch of other dudes with guns, uh, clearly like a transport. Uh, from what I understand, two different ways that you can build this. Uh, so there'll be like a couple options inside this single kit. Um, again, looks absolutely awesome. I don't know about that squig beast thing in the front there, but uh, overall very cool. Uh, this is our second setup. Again, it's got like some big guns, platform for plenty of orcs, and then a uh, crazy little uh, harpoon rocket gun thing on top there. Um, very cool, very cool. And then here we've got a new boss. This guy is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, he's got like a little shoulder mounted uh, squig gun. Uh, crazy, awesome power claw. 
obviously these have incorporated like the bones these are like the 40k style savage orcs uh, which the new box set appears to be like featuring it looked like in the new box set you're gonna get like basically 20 of this style orcs um, like a leader boss knob or whatever um, and then also uh, I think it was a runt herd like a uh, character runt herder so uh, beast boss they call this guy uh, this model is absolutely phenomenal I absolutely love it absolutely love it it's a war boss right here uh, this is a destroyed uh, basically like gargant uh, this is our first official terrain uh, piece that you could like take in an orc army that serves a purpose not just like to walk on or whatever so it's basically like uh, you know a gun command center platform type deal this is obviously going to tie in perfectly with the new kill team set definitely an orc theme a uh, bunch of little guns and everything and then i'm assuming it has like some morale benefits or whatever as well uh, next we have the quote unquote great white squig uh, so this thing is awesome as well it's got like a bionic badass snake bite orc on top of a giant white partially like mechanical squig deal going on here i mean these are about as mad max as it gets i absolutely love these models uh absolutely amazing absolutely amazing Uh, and then next we have like a war boss on top of the actual squig right here and then we've seen a bunch of like squig riders as well and these will be featured again inside of that kit uh that limited edition what i'm assuming is limited edition orc set so uh here we have uh clearly a cool looking knob uh, a couple awesome looking boys right here and you'll notice that all the boys um in the new set appear to be like larger essentially like knobs so i've They've already showed that there's going to be regular boys as well. And then obviously new knobs and then obviously snake bites, all the terrain, uh, all the squig riding like big guys. So, I mean, this looks like a complete new orc range. I mean, I'm sure some of the other stuff will carry over some of the flyers and vehicles. But I think anything that was missing before and then so much more will be added in with this. So uh, we've got like a heavy weapon, a couple grenade dudes, uh, another heavy weapon. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. These guys look great. Great models. And then here we've got, oh, I almost forgot, the Def Copters. Uh, these were not released since Blackreach and have been extremely hard to get. The old models were cool. Um, these look a lot like them, but have been completely updated. I uh, love them. They look freaking awesome. Um, definitely, definitely cool. And uh, these were good in game terms as well, but obviously the models are amazing as well. So uh, they got everything from like dropping bombs on people to heavy weapon shooting to actually like melee capabilities. And it looks like we've got at least, uh, what, like three or four variants. So, yeah, definitely three variants showed right here. Uh, we'll see how they come probably in groups of three, if I had to guess, uh, just by them, like, showing those three specific models. But this appears to be, like, the line. So what we're looking at right here, obviously, you have, like, Gosgol and a couple of, like, old models in here mixed with it. But you can see pretty clearly this is one of the new Orc box sets uh, with, like, the supplement stuff added in. So... If we kind of take a look here, this is our four big squig riders, including like the character from the orc box set. This is the uh, um, runt herd type dude, uh, the special character that comes in the set as well. And then also from the set, we have, I believe it was 20 of these boys right here. And then that little squig is part of it as well. And then there's one character. So all that stuff looks like it's going to be from the new orc box set. Then we have like supplementally in here as well, three of the Def Coptas. We have the great white squig there. We have the squig transport vehicle that we were talking about. We have the command center. And then we have a couple of uh, like older models as well here. So you can see obviously a Def Dread. Uh, Gazkul is in there. And then these are some, uh, I think knobs in power armor. Uh, no, not power armor. The, the, man i can't think of it mega armor knobs and mega armor and then that's like the character that you can build out of the knobs set uh with like basically like special options so that looks like that's all old stuff here and then this looks like this is some of the jump guys uh not the new commandos at first i kind of glanced at it and thought it was like the new commandos but i do not think that's the case so uh, we have quite a few models all displayed in this set right here you know what though actually great white the character i don't see a couple of the other new characters in this set so it looks like there's even more than's pictured right here 
but yeah i mean this is this is absolutely great if you are an orc fan obviously this is great so and then let's check out this one not sure what that was there it said in the name of dorn but definitely looked like black templar uh so i am really not sure black armored space marines in the sector yeah it's got to be so uh but yeah i mean i think that's pretty much it so we touched on a little bit of everything uh showed off a bunch of the new models everything from 40k to kill team uh, looks like there's going to be rules in here for, I believe it was Sisters of Battle, Tyranids. Uh, obviously going to be new stuff for Orcs and Krieg as well for 40k and Kill Team. Uh, and then, um, what did we miss? Sisters of Battle. Uh, they mentioned Chaos as well, so there's going to be new rules for Chaos. Uh, so a little bit um, for a lot of factions. Uh, obviously the models are top notch. I mean, this guy right here is absolutely phenomenal. That might be my favorite of all the new models. Although, I mean, the commandos are awesome. The Kriegs are awesome. The terrain is awesome. I mean, just everything is absolutely top notch. Uh, you know, there's you could find a couple flaws here or there. But honestly, with the amount of stuff coming out, with the quality of stuff coming out, I can't imagine being any better. And the speed that everything's been coming out with lately, all things considered, uh, I mean... We just got a new edition of basically 40K, a new edition of Sigmar, a new edition of Kill Team, and then, you know, countless new models as well. So I think that we could probably expect stuff to just keep coming. Um, it's very clearly two, book one, Rising Tide of Warzone Octarius. So there's going to be, these, these seem like they're going to be exactly what they did last edition, where basically every book will have rules for like three factions, and then they'll just release like however many books to cover all the different factions. And then there'll be everything from like relics, maybe special characters, like detachments, etc., available to help like buff your codex and, uh, you know, keep the power creep moving for everybody. Because obviously whoever gets their codex first, you know, is going to be worse off by the end. So the power creep can help to like kind of keep everybody caught up but overall kill team looks great all the new orcs look great um you know everything looks great uh, games workshop is absolutely killing it i'm loving everything they're doing right now loving all the new models can't wait to play the new kill team uh the only thing that's a little sketch about this and you know i want to keep the positivity up but um you know they did just put out that pariah nexus set with like new books in it cards so i'm assuming all that stuff is going to be completely invalidated now and you're not going to be able to use it uh, maybe there's some way it's going to be able to like carry over but if this is a whole new edition and the rules are completely different uh, i'm assuming that just everything is going to be in this new book they've already said the core book will invalidate the old core book so i'm guessing that that was just kind of poor timing i mean at this point in time though it's been what three to six months ago i guess so got to just bite the bullet on that one um it is what it is kind of bad timing for kill team after not getting so many releases um looks like though all the kill team like expansion sets like the uh kill zones that they put out the three new sets um in the last like six months looks like those will all transfer over because there was not any specific rules in any of them they were just boards and terrain basically uh so that is kind of nice that none of that will be invalidated and uh we can have that all transfer over 
Uh, I thought there would be like that cool kill team video right here, but I actually don't see it. And uh, I don't feel like digging through like the hour plus of this right here. I'm not sure when they show it. Oh, maybe it's the first thing. Let's see if we can just jump onto that real quick. I imagine most of you have seen it at this point in time, but it's too good to leave out, I think. This obviously is what I was talking about. It makes me think there's got to be a sniper. Needed that kill. The Krieg boys were getting destroyed. So yeah, that was it. In case you missed it, uh, that's basically like the preview for the new kill team set um absolutely absolutely awesome guys i mean i can't say how excited i am for all these new models uh for the orcs for everything i've got my guys cool like 99 percent painted up and i can't wait for him to uh get some boys to go along with it cannot wait to play this new kill team uh from what i understand the rules will be much more similar to like the war cry style as well um got to give a shout out to uh, glass half dead he was talking about like some insider info and essentially that this is going to switch from being more of like a hybrid 40k style to more of like a war cry style so maybe dudes instead of having like one or two wounds will have like you know 30 hit points or whatever and when they go down uh each weapon will have its own damage or whatever and then also it'll be like an action economy type thing where say like everybody will get two actions you can either move shoot move move uh, you know, uh, move, attack, etc. So uh, I think that will be cooler as well. I think people really like like the alternating uh, turns or like phases. So we'll see. Again, that's all speculative. I did just hear that from uh, Glass Half Dead, and uh, I, I think that'd be great too because you want the games to be separate enough that they're fun, but that they don't interfere with each other. Because I think previously a lot of people would play Kill Team or 40K, uh, and then some would play both. Uh, I think with like Sigmar and Warcry, you have the option now to be like a Warcry player and then eventually get into Sigmar or a Sigmar player and then get into Warcry. And I think that this is better to have them be like more of separate games, but that everything can like be used between them. So um, hopefully this is honestly just going to jump back off and revitalize Skill Team because it kind of, I don't want to say it flopped, but it just has not been as popular as a lot of the other games were. So and you know basically like the narrative portion where you leveled your guys up and everything just wasn't that great didn't stay that balanced so hopefully with this new setup uh that won't be an issue it'll be awesome for like fun play and then also for like the tournament scene as well so uh but there you have it guys check out the uh review for yourself you can find all this on the warhammer community webpage. Uh, i am warhammer man this is warhammer man studios make sure you leave a like and comment subscribe etc we're almost to a thousand subscribers so make sure you share this with your friends uh, check out our other content as well everything from reaction and review videos like this to uh, how-to videos for conversions painting etc and uh, we also have the commission studio 
Uh, also, you can check out all of our listings. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff on Facebook and then all our listings on eBay as well. Uh, appreciate everybody for watching today, liking, subscribing, and of course, all the people that uh, order commissions because that's what really makes all this possible. So there you have it, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.